Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Welcome to our Sunday pizza extravaganza. We're going to start making pizzas every Sunday if we can, or whenever possible. And today I'm going to try something totally different. I uh, had a viewer from Canada say that if you add one third, one third of your water, replace one third of the water with beer, the yeast uh, activates much stronger, and you get much fluffier pizza dough, and you can't you can't really even tell the difference in the taste. So that's what I'm going to try today while the girls are at church, so they don't know anything about it, and we'll see uh, how it ends up for them when I when I cook it up for them this evening. So what I'm what I'm doing here today is I have uh, two packages of. Fleischmann's Rapid Rise Yeast is kind of old in the bowl here. I'm going to put in uh, two, two tablespoons of sugar. This is kind of mixed white and brown sugar. I think two and a half today, something a little different. And I have some water that I poured over a thermometer, a regular house thermometer. I got it to about 107 degrees. So that should be pretty good. And I'll put that in there and I'll get right back to you. So I have in two and a half cups of water in the yeast. I have a bottle of Heineken all the way from Wisconsin. Isn't that cool? And I'll put a half a cup of that in here. Kind of foaming up on me a little bit. Full. Go down here once. Better spot, so I'll get my table all wet. Should have poured it like a glass of beer, I guess. All right, now. So I'll put a half a cup of that in there, and we're going to proof the rice. Let it sit for I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes, something like that. And then today I'm also going to. Go back to the uh, first flour that we used, which is ram flour. That dough was fantastic. So we're going to try to go to that. See if that makes any difference or not. I don't know. And then what else I'm going to use for ingredients today, if this is your first time watching. So it was two packages of yeast, two, t two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Two and a half cups of warm water at about 105 to 110 degrees. One half cup of water of Heineken beer or any kind of beer. I'm sure it doesn't make any difference. And then for the dough, I'm going to put in eight cups of all-purpose flour. And in the dough, I'm also going to put in... Uh, two and a half, or maybe three, maybe three teaspoons, three teaspoons of salt. And again, I mentioned last time that almost all the recipes that I've read about, they all put in like a third of a cup of olive oil or something in there also. But I, I've never done that, so I'm not going to do that. And I'll let this sit for a little while, then mix up the dough, and I'll start kneading it, and I'll come back and show you what I have. All right, well I'm back. I have three teaspoons of salt and seven cups of of ram all-purpose flour in here. I have the eighth cup over here and I'll use that to keep this from getting too sticky and usually you need the eighth cup anyway as a, as a rule and I have just a little bit of flour left over. Hopefully I won't have to open another box up. Got to slam that Heineken down a little while here. Another thing we're going to do today is I'm going to try to make a glass out of this bottle. I've got a uh, cheap glass cutter I bought over the internet and we'll see if that works to make glasses. Ricky has four bottles he wants made up into glasses and I have three or four of them sitting around too. Alright, I guess that's it for now. 
the yeast is proofing. Okay, here's something interesting. Now a week in a Ziploc bag and my big block of cheese is all moldy already. Everybody says, yeah, you can just cut it off, but I don't know. I don't think I could eat it. I'll cut it up for the dogs. All right, the next step is to take the yeast and water, and it really didn't foam up at all. Just pour it in there. And I don't have a tripod today. I'm out here on the oven. I have to get a better some a better setup here. Usually I have Mara Fee hold the camera, or I hold the camera while she's doing stuff. And I'm, I'm not going to waste all your time watching me <laughs> mix up dough and knead it all, but I'll, I will show you a glimpse of each part. And uh, obviously, this is mixing the yeast, warm water, sugar, and beer into here. It had kind of a pretty pretty beer smell to it yet in the was liquid but now now actually the smell's gone completely now it's just now it just smells like flour. That's good. I'm hoping that it doesn't have a beer taste. Because I don't think the girls will like that too much. Alright, well I'll smash this all up into a ball here and then start kneading it and I'll be back with you again. Alright, well I'm kneading the dough up a little bit. I add just a little bit of flour to it. It's starting to get kind of sticky. And by the time I get done here, I'll probably add the rest of the little bit of flour in there. Got a little bit around the edges yet here. Gonna still throw on it, work in. You don't want it too sticky, but you don't want it real dry either, though. Today it feels a lot more flexible. The first time we did it with the ram um, flour, we used six cups of flour and only one and a half cups of water, and we we're a little light on the water. But this time, this is our new uh, recipe. So we'll try this. All right, that's not too bad. It's all eight or nine minutes. I just went till my wrists and shoulders are totally shot. Now I'll put a little oil on it. And today, because I'm in no hurry, usually we wind up doing this stuff at five o'clock and you want to eat so bad. I'm just going to let this sit for, I'm thinking an hour without even looking at it. Maybe an hour or more. And then come back and punch it down and then let it sit for another 25 or 30 minutes. Then put it in a, in a couple pans and try to make a couple test pizzas here before the girls get home. Alright, well it raised for an hour. I punched it down and it's been sitting here for 20 minutes. It doesn't really seem to be raising at all. Maybe my yeast is just no good. It's maybe three years old. I got some new yeast in the house somewhere else to see if I can find it, see if it makes any difference. But I'm going to go get the girls and flip up a pizza in a little while. Hi, hon. How you doing? I'm doing good. Very hot. Just went and picked up Murphy and Shannon. I'm going to cook a pizza. This is what I have here. This is eight cups of flour. It didn't seem to rise hardly at all. We'll, we'll try to cook it. I did something else different. I put the cheese in the freezer for an hour and it's hard as a rock. I'm hoping it'll shave up finer. Mm. And today I'm also going to do something different. I'm, we're going to use parchment paper, but I'm not going to roll the dough out this time. I'm just going to spread it out with my hands. All right. I'm just going to see half a quarter maybe thirds I'll try to do a little over a quarter this time and this time I'm just going to put it on the paper in the center I guess and try to spread it out I don't know how this is going to work someone says we're doing it wrong the other way whether they're right or not, I don't know. They said this gives it a lot more air when it cooks. 
in the dough. Way thicker though, for sure. I'm just soaked here with sweat here. Seems pretty thick to me. I didn't put too much on. I don't know. <laughs> Spread out pretty good, I guess. We got regular tomato sauce again. A bunch on for the girls. for him today. Oh, I didn't bring out the hamburger. Shannon, can you run in and grab the grand, grand, ground beef in the freezer in a little bag? That's going to be a challenge now because that's going to be frozen. Uh, let's stop for a minute. Huh? Trying to smash up the frozen hamburger. Forgot, forgot all about the hamburger until I started making the pizza. Now here's a piece of cheese I put in the same time in the freezer as I did the one in the bag in the refrigerator. This one looks just fine. Where the well, it's hard, but where the the one in the refrigerator is just blue all over. I showed you a picture of it earlier in the in the video. This is like gravel. Just a hammer, Dad. Oh, what's it called? Use a hammer, huh? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. The just like hammer. Let's get a hammer out. We got a sledgehammer over there by the hut. Should we get that quick? That might work. Quite hopping. Pretty good, I guess. All right, let's get over to the pizza. Let's throw a little ground beef on both sides. Not too much. Got three pizzas to make today, maybe. A couple minutes ago, the oven blew itself out. I don't know why it did that. We had a big popping sound, and both burners were out. Just pouring propane in there. Really? So it's kind of. Maybe it's on. I don't know if it's on now or not. I reached lit it. We'll see. That's very dangerous, Don. It is. Propane's just like a bomb. We'll try the grater. Knock all the spiders out of it. <laughs> Here's the frozen cheese. It's already thawing out on the edges. Thanks for cooking the pizza, Dad, again. No problem. I did all the work for you. Oh, I was surprised when we went in my parents' house. I love you, love you, Dad. Great. I guess I'm a lucky guy, huh? Hmm. I am a lucky wife, too. We're using one little block of cheese per pizza. Seems to be working pretty good. Might be excessive, I don't know, but... Extra che cheese is like good. Extra cheese, yeah, I think so, too. Right there. I'm too close to the edge or it just falls off in the ground. I'm just pouring, look, I'm just pouring sweat out. Mm -hmm. I just like. Um, it's about 100 degrees in the kitchen here. It's about 120 out there in the sun. Oh, very hot. Papa said when, I, when he's sleeping, very hot. When he's awake, very hot. I think it's a kind of a strange su summer here. It's, yeah. it's a dry season, but I think it's extra hot. Everybody, almost everybody's well dry. in our town is dry, so yeah. we will. still have water. Yeah. Philip, he's out of water. The church is out of water. Mm. Okay, 
smash that last little piece up here, I guess. It'll melt out nice. Alright. I've got pineapple. Girls pizza. They want pineapple. Pineapple tidbits. I really like pineapple. Oh, I don't yeah. know why. Do you see the two Hawaiian pineapples over there in the yard? Yeah, I see. Two nice Hawaiian pineapples coming and, uh, you and a native it. one right next to it. Those are the ones I planted years and years ago. Yeah, it's growing. It's amazing. They're finally yeah. doing something. Thank you, Dad. Okay. Mama, mama, chup, chup. Oh, yeah. Oh, dropped it on the ground. All right, well, that's all we have right there. Let's go out and look at the oven and see if it's the temperature. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow, we're way high. Careful, Dad. We're over 600 degrees. It's way too high. Sorry, Dad. Oh, Hold on. Ah. Electric fan? That's scary. Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. You have shade now. What's that? There's a shade in here. A little bit over here now. The sun is in this different direction today. Because we're coming up on June 21st, huh? The longest day of the year. We're close, close to the equator. It changes dramatically. Oh, wow. I step back little bit harder, farther. What's that? Because I'm scared it will blow up. It's making a wild noise. What's going on? Yeah. Maybe there's something leak done. Cool down just a little bit here. That's good for now. That's what we end up here with this. The piece first one came out. Looks pretty good, huh? Mm. That's Hawaiian pizza. It looks very delicious. And the other one that's... That's one I fixed up here. I got a little too much sauce on here. Mm, my... I'm hungry now. Another one. Second batch, Dad. Too much Third batch. This is the third. The other one's in the oven right now. Mm. That's probably good. I didn't wash my hands yesterday, huh? Oh. Chickens. The roast is turning good, I think. <laughs> Did not attack me Yeah, this well, morning. I caught him yesterday and put him on a rope. I left a rope on his foot, so now he gets close to me. I step on his foot just to show him that he's not the boss anymore. Oh. Not quite enough meat there, but... Stop it. This is the last one here. So they get this one made up. I'll take a couple lactose pills and we'll dig into the first one. Second one's in the oven. The oven's a little too hot this time. It's at 500 degrees. I don't know if that'll make any difference or not. skin in there, not gonna make, hurt my pizza, I guess, huh? I'm lacking, I'm lacking ground beef, a little extra thumb skin. Good. A little weak there, a little heavy in the middle, that's all right, though. There you go, dog. Let me check that. Come on here, quick. Here we go. 475. Just starting to look good. Wait. Turn off the camera. No, finish. Okay. This one slid a little bit. It's a little bit off angle. 
Or if he says she just wants one piece tonight. Mm. And it's a little thicker pizza. It looks like it's done okay. Put this up for later for you guys. Mm. All right. Here's, here's mine. That's perfect. Mine looks very delicious and perfect too. Thank you, my sweetie pie darling husband. Guess what? Dun dun dun. Need some salt. What I need? Oh, salt. Always tastes better with a little salt. Mm. <laughs> this is nice and thick. Feels real heavy. This is gonna be great. The other two are going to be, this time we made three pizzas instead of four pizzas. I think it's going to be way better. All right, turn off for a second. Uh, just a little salt. Good for the arteries. All right, I'm going to take the camera. I'm just soaking wet here. Look at that, not nice. Try more. Shouldn't be too hot. Good okay, now. you notice any differences? I use some totally different ingredients this time. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you notice any difference. I'll try mine right here. That's what I have. I can't hold it here at the same time. Let's see what I'm doing. There we go. There, yeah, dough is nice and chewy. Perfect. Mmm. Mm. I don't take my pill. Oh, mmm. I'll pay for that. You know. Any good? Mm, very good. Can you tell the difference in it? This one, the dough. But what's the difference in the dough? Yeah, honey, I made a totally different recipe for the dough today. Thick. It, okay, it's, it's thicker. Chewy. Okay, it's chewier. Can you taste anything different in it? Does it taste good? Does it taste any way different? Oh, very good. Okay. Any difference from the last time? Much better this time. Why? Explain why it's better. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> I can't explain. Why? I you know, Uncle good. Very good. I don't real nice want. and Real nice and doughy. I like it better thick like this. This will microwave up so much nicer, too, when it's um, when we reheat it. Hi, guys. Hi. All right. Well, this is a little thing I want to add in before the closing. Now, I made the pizza different today. You guys were at your mother, at your mom's house. So I made everything myself today. I, I did something different. One of our subscribers said I should try something that would make the yeast yeast work better. Mm -hmm. But it didn't because I think our yeast is old. So we'll get some the fresher yeast that my dad said. We'll try the next batch with that. I couldn't find it today. Don't know what I did with it already. Um, so, so the magic ingredient to this pizza, you couldn't tell any difference in the taste whatsoever, huh? No. And the dough. Well, the magic ingredient today was I put in a cup of beer instead of water. Ah. Heineken beer instead of water. That's why. No, that's to make their yeast yeast go better. That when you when you cook alcohol, the alcohol evaporates, so there's no alcohol in it. But it's just sometimes it leaves a little flavor. I can't tell the difference in the taste at all. So I just thought I'd take it. So you you just you just ate a bottle of beer, Shannon. <laughs> Man. You just ate a bottle of beer, Murphy. Can you imagine that? Oh, <laughs> Alright, well that's all I have for right now. I have to go out and check the other pizza real quick. Please click like and subscribe. I want to thank you all for letting us in your house today and watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood, stop by. Thank you very much. Have a great day. God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. Got a, full mouth. Got a full mouth there, huh? Mm. All right. See you later.